Hi everybody and welcome back to Yankee Devil where of course every day is a train show and today we're doing something a little different because my main man Engineer Hall isn't here but I got my other guy here Ken filming. Say hi Ken. Hi Ken. Okay well we're working on that. Well anyway we got some brand new items here at Yankee Devil that we're going to showcase to you so without any further hesitation let's get started. So I know a lot of us might have some things on our layouts that we want to get uh, lit up with various lights. Well Woodland Scenic has you covered with their Just Plug systems here. These light hub sets these are awesome to use. If you have never used these before these are incredibly easy. What you need is you need your power supply to plug into the hub set and in here you can do a couple of different things. You can plug in some of the lights here that you can put in Inside of your buildings and we have a whole bunch of different colors here blue yellow red etc or I could get various cars that actually have light up features for example the cop car has the uh, siren that uh, links up top there I got the headlights I got the taillights or if you want some of the woodland scenic buildings we have those too and you can plug those in and you get the light up and these buildings are incredibly detailed I love that the some of the blinds are kind of messed up here these are just great looking buildings and you can get them all lit up with the uh, just plug system. Now we have here a Yankee Dabbler, a whole bunch of different systems, uh, or rather features on the just plug system. One of my favorite things that we have here is actually there are dimmers on the side of the hub here. So if I want something to be really bright or really dull, I can do that. It's really cool. And here at Yankee Dabbler, we have all the different materials you need to get your layout lit up and looking spectacular. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get some of these today because I know your layout is really going to love it. Now it's time to talk about one of my favorite cars on the train, and of course I'm talking about the ending car, that is the Caboose. Caboose and, yeah, we're going to talk about Caboose. That, that's hard to say. Anyway, let's take a look at these Cabooses that we have over here, okay? And we have a whole bunch of different variations. Now this is the NE6 Caboose here, and we got the New Haven. Yep, we got, we got the New Haven. New Haven looks... Ken, what are we doing? I'm trying to count the rivets to see if they're to see if it's accurate. Okay, okay. We, we we got other things to do. Okay, move on. All right. So we got New Haven. We saw New Haven. We got Nickel Plate Road. That one looks sharp. I like that one here. Now we have the Chicago West Pullman and Southern. All right here. I got the Shawmut line. I got the NY S and W. New York Susquehanna and Western. Okay. There I have the Monongahela. Here I have the Morristown and Erie. Now these are the NE6s, and then I have some standard Cabola cabooses here. And I got the ICG. Illinois Central Gulf. I got the Great Northern. I have a Norfolk Southern, and this one says all aboard double zeros. And then finally, I have here a specialized rail transport. Ooh, do you think that's a special train? Yeah, usually these are, um put behind high and wide loads. Ooh, okay. So like really fat people, right? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, what's really neat about these NE6s cabooses here is I got metal wheels, which is really nice here, but look at all the detailing on the railings and everything. They look really good. I can actually see through the windows, which is really neat. And then the standard Cabola caboose. If I get one of these here, I'll get the Great Northern here. I have, not only do I have die-cast metal wheels, but I also have metal couplers, which is really nice. Look at that, it says safety first, they have a little sign there. I can see through the windows on this. I mean, these cars just look awesome here. I really love them. I think everyone needs one, two, or a whole bunch of different cabooses. Cabooses, 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 whatever you want to say. You need them on your rails. Now, the NE6 caboose, they retail for $39.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. I've heard the standard Cabola caboose, they retail for $46.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $32.99. So come into Yankee Dabbler, get these cabooses on the end of your trains today. As we all know the song, Little Red Caboose. You want to sing it with me, Ken? Caboose. Uh, we're working on it. Get it today. So now it's time to look at an N-scale locomotive here. And I got a really neat one here from Amtrak. You know, Amtrak has a lot of... Ken, Ken, what are we doing? Uh, I need some bushes for my layout. Okay, yeah, we're, we're focusing. We're, we're talking about stuff here. Hi, get rich, rich focuses on me. We talk, all right? So anyway, Amtrak has a whole bunch of different engines and locomotives that they have pulling their past. What, what, okay, what, what are we doing now? Looking at the engines. Okay, but you got to look at me first. I set it up and then we talk about it, okay? Do you understand? I got excited. There was N-Scale. <laughs> okay, anyway. N-Scale, Kado, 
look at it better all right so these are the uh the n scale chargers here ken what is the exact designation i know you know it alc 42 amtrak long distance charger that's right all right so i have a couple of variations here now for dc i have a couple of different variations here this is what they call the day one and it has the pointless arrow with the 50th anniversary logo on it. It's supposed to look like the first ever Amtrak engine painted. Okay, and then over here I have what is called the Phase 7 paint scheme. And that's a really neat look here. And I also have the Phase 6 in DC as well. Now for DCC, I just have the Phase 6 versions available. But if you're someone that runs their train with DCC, this is definitely a cool option for you. Now these engines are eventually going to be replacing all the P42 Genesis that that are out there so for those of you who are a Genesis fan make sure you get your Railfan videos before they go away but these engines are the latest and the greatest new thing from Amtrak I think you're really gonna enjoy them especially if you have some Amfleet cars I think this will look really neat so come into Yankee Dabble and get these today this is a DCC engine so it doesn't make any sense but you want to run it yeah all right let's put it around the track all right so I got that charger on the track so we're gonna okay Ken 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 Ken, hi, yeah, I know you're excited, but let me set it up here, all right? So we have the charger on the track here. Now, as I said, it doesn't have sound here, it just says DCC, but what the, okay, Ken, Ken! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Okay, so I got the charger on the track, we're gonna run it here, so let's go, okay? Now you can go, yeah, okay. All right, so it doesn't have sound, so I'm just gonna pretend what it would sound like, okay? Does that sound pretty close? It's a little quieter than that. Okay. Well, the lights go on. Let's see how it runs. It's a zoomy. Ah, I'll back it up. Beep, beep, beep. Nice. Now, Ken, how hard would it be to add sound to this engine? That depends on how much room there is for a speaker. You may have to mill the frame depending on how much room is available in there to fit the speaker. Okay, but can it be done? Yes, it can be done. All right, so if you're someone who wants to add sound to that engine and not want to have me come over going <laughs> beep, 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 look into that. But we have some of these really neat engines here and the cost is actually pretty good. For example, the DC power locomotive sells for 140 uh, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $109.99. And the DCC locomotive sells for $240, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $169.99. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these engines pulling some modern Amtrak trains on your railroad today. Okay, we, we, we already saw it, Ken. Ken. All right, so we got another HO diesel locomotive for us to be taking a look at here. This is from Atlas. And what are we doing? It's Frank. Okay, yeah. Ken, focus on me, okay? Focus on me. You got it, Ken? Yep. Okay. <sighs> anyway, we got a brand new diesel locomotive here from Atlas that we are going to be taking a look at. And we're going to be taking a look at the Train Masters. We saw them in N scale. Now we saw are going to take a look at them in HO here. And I have four road names for us to choose from. This is the New Jersey Central or the Central Jersey of or Central River to New Jersey, or whatever you want to call it. I have here the Canadian Pacific. Fun fact, this is the only paint scheme that a train master is preserved in. Okay, then. We have here the Pennsylvania Railroad. Fun fact, I've been to that state. Me too. Okay. And then finally, we have here the Redding. You have a fun fact for this one? Mm, not really. Okay. How about this? It's green. It is green. I uh, and one of the neat things about this is these locomotives, depending on what the railroad was, uh, ran them in different directions. So, for example, here the Reading. If you notice here, it has an F here, which signifies that this runs forward or short hood forward. But if you take a look at the Pennsylvania Railroad, you're going to see that the F is actually over here on the long nose. So, this depending on the railroad is depending on which direction they run in. Now, the neat thing that Atlas did with these locomotives, and I don't know how well you can see this in camera. Take a look at the uh, vents here. I actually had the fans inside of it which is really cool there so it's really neat to see that uh, uh, variation there and look there's even a guy driving it do you think that's engineer hall could have been could have been although oh he gave a ran for the reading no but he runs on reading territory now okay maybe that's where he is now engineer hall get the work we need you to film this guy's no, 
working out. Anyway, so this is a really neat diesel locomotive here. So we're going to run it up and we're going to see what it sounds like. All aboard. One of the neat things about this engine here, if you take a look over here, I have here a plate here that if I actually take a little pencil or a pen or something, they could come down there. So that's a really neat little feature that they added. I have nice illuminated number boards here and a headlight. Let's get her started. Alright, let's take a listen to the bell. How about the horn? I like it. All aboard. Hey, let's pull a caboose train. Caboose, sh -sh -sh -sh. You ready, Ken? Yep. All aboard. Now arriving, <clears throat> the caboose train. Caboose, yes, 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 yes. So it's a great look at diesel locomotive here, and it just sounds good. It runs good. Cam, why are we still looking at it? Because it's a nice looking engine. Okay, yes. We're going to wrap it up here. We can't spend the whole time looking at it. Okay, anyway, so that particular locomotive retails for $294.95, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $209.99. So it's a great engine, a uh, great deal to get on a really great looking diesel. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on to Yankee Dabbler and get it today. All right, so we're going to do a little recap of all the things that we looked at. And what are we, Ken? Did wait. you know we have all these Walther's okay, kits? Okay, Ken, we're looking at me. Oh, thank God this is almost over. Okay, so let's look at the trains we talked about in today's show here. All right, starting out from Atlas, we had all these cabooses. Cabooses. Okay. These are really neat looking cars here. And then from N-Scale from Kado, I had these chargers in DC and DCC. Again from Atlas, I had these train masters. What's the exact designation, H2466. Ken? H2466. Very good. Rolls off the tip of your tongue. And then I had here all these Woodland Scenic Just Play accessories here. These are really neat uh, um, things to get your things uh, lit up on your railroad. But of course, if you're looking for something else to get in to see, well, that's all right. You can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for, so we can get it shipped out and sent to you in no time so you can have hours of fun. Ken, you do that once a week, right? Yeah. Exactly. There you go. And if you're not already subscribed to the Engineer Hall channel, I don't know what you're doing. You gotta click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the latest videos that we have here. Ken, are you subscribed to the Engineer Hall channel? I am. See? Everybody's doing it. I'm doing it. Ken did it. 
everybody's doing it. So yeah, come on down to Yankee Dabbler, have some fun, buy some trains. It's awesome stuff. Now I think we're gonna conclude with our rail fan video. We're gonna take a look at the Charger here, and I actually, when I was in Goshen, Virginia, watching the 611 last year, we actually had to wait for the Cardinal Amtrak train to go by, and guess what was pulling it? But it was the Charger, so you can see what one of those engines looks like in real life, all right? I wanna give a little shout out here to a fan of the channel, his name was Larry. He came in and actually gave me a pin to Strasburg 31, which is my favorite engine. I did a little video a long, a long time ago talking about uh, my model 31 here. So he came and gave that to me. So thanks, Larry. I appreciate it. Really nice here. A nice gesture. And thanks for watching the show. Well, before we go here, we got one more suggestion for my layout. As you know, I'm building a new layout here. And this is from Cody. He suggested I do this for my layout. Just, just looks way too complicated. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, first of all, it's not even American. It's like some type of European train. It's German. Um, there's just too much there. So, maybe, but much less than that. I think you could do it if you fit it in TT scale. <sighs> Well, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go find Engineer Hall and bring him back here because this guy eh, didn't work out too good. So, uh, I'll see you later. Engineer Hall, come back! <laughs> hey, DJ, do you want me to follow you? No!